day. Everybody go through mess. Just because we go to church don't keep us from having things that go on in our life that we need to get worked out and that we need to work on ourselves. The excitement of this role is that there are times when she is totally not like me, and then there are times when she is like me. The businesswoman, the mom, the person who absolutely loves her family and will do anything for her family. And then there are times when she's like the ice queen, and I try not to be that. Well, I play the bishop, Bishop Calvin uh, Jordan, and I'm married to Yolanda Adams, and we are <laughs> navigating through a very complicated relationship, a 30-year relationship, and um, and at this point she is fighting to stay on top of the gospel world, and I am actually fighting to keep our business, which is the gospel world and the church, actually trying to keep it afloat because we're, we're we're going through some rough times, um, and it just gets more and more complicated as the story goes on. So what is it about a good church drama that the audience seems to love, seeing the underbelly, not necessarily always in a bad way, but the underside of people that we look to, that we look at as being perfect? Well, I think, I think what's, what's really good about it is that we're fighting, we're fighting to see people succeed. You know, people, in whatever way, it doesn't have to be a big, big uh, thing, but like, and my character is, is, is really struggling with his whole connection to God, and I, and he's dealing with this a lot, you know, and so um, he the struggle between that and his marriage and trying to keep his marriage afloat and working, and I think that's things that that all people can can relate to, and especially I think it's good for church people because we don't have to be perfect, we don't have to be. You know, we don't have to worry about our image. We have to worry about our inner si in, inside. You know, and I think it, what this mo this show is a lot of people are, are really. I think this they spend too much time worrying about their image, and we deal with that. And I like that. I really love that. Well, um, I, I play a rival um, a rival producer to Yolanda Adams' character, uh, Danita Jordan. And we got a lot of history that will be unpacked while you watch this show. And uh, I, that's what I can say about that. But I think this show is just excellently done. And I think you're going you're gonna to feel the same way when you watch it. What is it that you think the audience loves about watching a good drama that involves the church? Well, I mean, because it's, you know, we're not just, you know, all squeaky clean. Anybody. So I, th I think they're going to see the truth here. That's what I feel like. I feel like they're going to expect it's, it's going to be one, you know, they might think it's going to be one of those kind of, uh, kind of frivolous type of shows, but it's, it's a lot deeper than I would have ever imagined. I think a lot of people are going to find that out too. It's very exciting because growing up in the church and being able to tell the story of someone who's lost their faith and kind of been down on their luck, um, it relates to a lot of people in the world. And, and I'm proud to be that character for people to, to learn something for or to resonate with. So the audience, we love a good drama. We love a good drama that involves gospel and the church. So what do you think the audience is going to be most intrigued about with this series? I think that they're going to be most intrigued about how it jump cuts from the from the church to the strip club, <laughs> and it's just telling a really true story. You know, it's 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 life, and I love how grounded it is. They're going to find themselves in one of these characters for sure. You're playing the character of Essence in this. Tell me a little bit about Essence. Is she a troublemaker? What's going on with her? Oh, no, she didn't just put all her business out there. No, Essence. You know what? Essence is feisty. She knows what she wants, and she's ambitious. So you can't really follow the girl for those things, right? Absolutely not. What do you think it is about a drama that involves the church that keeps the fans so enthralled and ready to watch? You know what? I think seeing that everybody, we all are in a walk. Maybe different levels of our walk, but we're all in a walk. And seeing people and knowing, like, 
hey, everybody go through mess. Just because we go to church don't keep us from having things that go on in our life that we need to get worked out and that we need to work on ourselves. So I think, you know, people want to see, okay, everybody working it out. It's not just me over here. I'm not just a bad baby. Everybody's working something out. Everybody goes through things. So I think that's what keeps people coming back to see, to see the church folks, you know, what's going on. You know, I got to feel it. Uh, you know, when I'm looking for stories, it just starts with a feeling. You know, if I feel it and I feel connected, I'm emotionally moved by it, I usually try to pursue it. So what inspired you, what moved you with Kingdom Business? It was just, um, I'm a huge gospel music fan. Um, there's never been a, a show, as far as I know, set in the world of the gospel music industry. So to be able to be a part of this and bring this to the world, I'm super excited about. And that's what got me excited, was to be able to do a show in this industry that so many people love, but they don't know anything about. Uh, Taj is weirdly so similar to me. He's a musician. He's a church boy. He's charming, or at least I like to think I'm charming. Um, and uh, he is a truth seeker. He is somebody who grew up in the church, but also has a compassion and openness for anybody, anywhere, in any circumstance and um, his heart is huge. I, I think of him as the moral center of the show. So we know that this drama is centered in the church. What is it about church dramas on TV that seems to keep attracting viewers and makes it exciting? Um, because when, be, because I think when you're not in the church, you look on the outside and you're like, oh, these are people who present themselves as perfect. And I think that these shows reveal that we're all human, you know what I'm saying? That there is no separation between you and I. It's just about a walk that we're all trying to have with something, something and someone greater than ourselves. What is it about a good church drama that brings the fans in that we seem to love? Because it's drama. It's, um, it, it, there's so much uh, truth, I guess, and then um, it's a lot of what really goes on. And then when you peel back the layers and peep behind the curtain, you realize that people are people, right? With the same challenges as everybody. So it was just exciting to see it all unfold. Thank you so much for there your There is no kingdom business without Devon Franklin. Without Kurt Franklin. <laughs>